So guys, welcome. We have another question over here. The following data refers to a corn clutch. So this question is about clutches. So let's begin. So they are saying inside diameter 200 millimeters, outside diameter of the friction surface 400 millimeters, coefficient of friction between the surfaces 0 0.56. Okay, let me let me document them down. So the data given. So over here we have we have inside diameter. So it's the inside diameter. I'll put it as bi the inside diameter, which we have two hundred two hundred millimeters. A minute. So this two hundred millimeters when we convert it into meters. Okay. When we convert two hundred millimeters into meters, we will get zero point two we'll get zero point two meters. And here we have an outside diameter. So our outside diameter will be DO which is four hundred millimeters. Just a minute. So this four hundred. Okay, let me check my batteries. So four hundred millimeters into meters, we will get. Z yeah, actually, it's zero point four. Yeah. Let me write well zero point four meters, and also we have an axial an axial press pressing the surface together, an axial load. So we have axial load. So this axial load we will write it as W. To represent the load which is equals to 2.5 kilo newtons 2.5 kilo newtons so when we convert it into newtons we will get 2500 Kilo means times a thousand. So two thousand because it's two point sorry two thousand five hundred newtons. Also we have coefficient of friction between the surfaces, which is zero point five six. Coefficient of friction will be represented by a mu or a micro which is 0 
also we have a, a rotational speed of 1500 revolutions per minute so rotating speed speed will be n which we are given as 1500 rpms so this is 1500 revolutions per minute so these rpms you will convert them into rads per second this revolution per minute so we will multiply them by 2 pi all over 60 so as we get rads per second rad per second Also, lastly, we have a cone angle of 45 degrees. So, cone angle, so it's an angle, so it will be better. It goes to 45 degrees. Forty five degrees, so let's go back to the question. They are saying neglecting clutch slip determines the power transmitted by the clutch if the surfaces are worn. So they want the power. The power of you know they want us to find the power of the clutch. So we know that I'll give you two formulas. When you want to find, first we'll begin by finding torque. So for a flat, so we are dealing, so this is, this is actually chapter, this is chapter This is chapter 5 or unit 5 and it, it's about it's about clutches So we have different kinds of clutches. We have disc, disc, disc clutches, cone clutches, centripetal clutches. But here we'll be dealing with. So I'll give you the formula of finding the the, the torque for a flat flat belt. So for not belt, we are dealing with clutches. This chapter is usually about clutches and belts but here we will only be dealing with clutches so when you want to find torque for a flat clutch so when you want to find uniform there are usually two 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 formulas we have uniform pressure uniform pressure so the formula for uniform pressure of a flat of a flat belt the formula of finding T, where T is the torque. 
it is usually mu w into bracket this is this is this is the outside diameter cubed minus the inner diameter also cubed close the bracket divided by divided by three Let me let me write it correct. This is three three outside diameter squared minus inside diameter squared. close the bracket so another formula when you want to find the uniform uniform wire so when you want to find uniform wire the formula for for torque T equals to mu W not W mu R into D outside diameter okay, let me write it well plus the inside diameter this one will be over 4 So this question was so precise it was it wanted us to work on the on the conical flat conical clutch not on the so for the conical the conical flash when you want to find the uniform uniform pressure So you want to find uniform pressure T which is the torque equals to mu W into outside diameter cubed 
minus the inside diameter cubed all of this vary by 3 sine Three sign beta into outside diameter squared minus the inside diameter squared. That's for uniform pressure. Now for uniform wear. For uniform wear T, which is the torque, equals to mu w into outside diameter plus the inside diameter all of these into sine sine beta so those are the formulas so for our question they have asked us about so they have said they have actually noted that So here they're saying neglecting clutch slip determine the power they want P which is the power transmitted by the clutch if the surfaces are worn so they want uniform wear we will use the uniform wear formula they also noted that this is a conical clutch so we'll get back to our formulas. You have said that it is it is worn. So here it's a, it's actually conical. Number one. Number two, it it has a uniform wear. So we'll use this formula over here. Yeah, when you want to find the, the torque. So let me delete this. This line over here. Yeah. Also this line. So we're gonna we're gonna find torque first. So that we, we get the, the power. So we're given that T T equals to mu. Now this mu is our coefficient of friction, which is which is zero point zero point five six over here. Yeah, zero point five six. So it will be 0 
multiplied by force forces W this W which is 2500 2500 into our inside diameter is 0 0.4 which is in meters plus Is it plus or minus? So here's four sine. I think here it should be four minus. No, I'm sure here it's a plus. Yeah, it's plus. Oh, I think it should be plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let, let me refer from the above. So it's actually it's supposed to be minus. Yeah, four minus all of these formulas are sub subtraction. So it's supposed to be minus. Yeah. I'll confirm. So it's four minus. 0 .0 0 0.2 close the bracket all of this divided by 4 sine our angle is actually 45 so when we get to our calculators we will get that T equals to two nine two hundred and ninety six point nine eight okay point nine eight 0.98 newton meters newton meters so this is the this is the this is torque now let's find the power which is p so the formula of finding power Power is, is N multiplied by T. And you know that N, N, N is the, revolu the, the, the speed. Yeah. So let's go up here. You see that? P equals to nt and you know that our n because this n we are converting it into rads per second so it will be 1500 multiplied by Multiply by two pi. Two pi over sixty. Two pi over sixty multiplied by t. T we have gotten is two hundred and ninety six. Two hundred and ninety six. Point nine eight. Yeah, two hundred ninety six point nine eight. So when we when we slide into our calculators, we'll get that power p is equals to 
650 yeah because the power power is usually in watts so right there watts so that's i think that's all so simple like that Yeah. So this was all. This was a neck paper twenty twenty one. June July series. So thanks for watching.